Greetings, welcome to today's session to draw the seed of life. Let's begin. So we place the ruler in the middle of the page and today I've decided we're going to use centimeters. Um, and we're going to draw the horizontal line or the horizon. As we draw, we breathe out. Shuffle the ruler slightly then find the center of that line you've just drawn and mark it with a point. A tiny dot it may be, but worth reflecting on its significance as it is the first expression of shape on our paper. A series of points makes up a line, but this particular point becomes the center of our creative journey. A circle in its own right. The next thing, we're going to take our compass place it on that point and you rest the compass on the horizontal line, turn anti-clockwise and begin to breathe out and move your compass round to create your first circle. The horizontal line or the horizon as we like to call it, has divided the circle into two. And any intersection gives us a clue where to place the compass next. I'm going to go in an anti-clockwise fashion and uh, I'm going to wrap circles around this central circle. So that's where I'm placing my compass point. And as I place it down, checking the radius, I'm going to draw my second circle and as you can see two circles overlapping reveal a shape in between. This is called a vesica shape. We'll talk about it another day. So each new circle gives us new intersections and that new intersection is where we're going to draw the third circle. And as we draw the third circle we find another shape, three petals in between three circles. And you can see that where the three circles overlap in the center, you could sit a nice equilateral triangle right in the middle. We are going to continue doing more circles, drawing more circles, and each new circle gives us a new intersection. So I'm now going to draw the fourth circle. And as I draw the fourth circle, a curious thing happens. There are now, there is now a strange four petaled shape. Um, and it actually looks like you could fit a perfect square. But let me just draw the circle and then I can show you what I mean. Can you see the four points? That's where the square would sit. And as you draw each new circle, a fresh intersection appears, which will lead you to do further circles until you complete a set of six circles around your central circle and that reveals a beautiful six petal flower in the middle. And this seed of life pattern we created going in an anti-clockwise direction you will have noticed because in Islamic geometry going anti-clockwise resonates with turning back time and returning to our original state of being. Our final step is to derive the vertical axis by lining up the tips of the wider petals that are perpendicular to the horizontal and placing the vertical axis. Thanks for watching with us today. Please rejoin us as we develop the pattern in our next video. In the meantime, press like or leave a comment on our YouTube page.
See you next time. Bye.